Um, in your opinion, how has been the verification and tallying process this far? I can only say that uh, it has been extremely slow, very slow, because the announcement that was made after the results that came out uh, have been after there for two days, and uh, they only gave us one constituency, results of one constituency, which, which then is almost telling us that it will be taking a day a constituency. I hope this will not be the case because then we are looking at a long wait. The IABC officials led by their chairman, instead of keeping Kenyans posted every now and then, this is what we are doing because Kenyans want to know it's the whole country, it's just not those of us who are sitting here at the Bombers of Kenya Hall. He should be telling Kenyans this is what we are doing. This is how far we have gone. This is the number of um, constituents, the results that we have so far received, and they are being tallied. So for him just to sit there and wait since morning, we were told that we'll be briefed by four. People came hoping that by four a brief will come. He has only talked to the Kenyans about 6.30. That is not professional. You know, and you know, he must not take Kenyans ufala. Like they don't know that this is what he should do. Yes. So aside from this challenge, have there been any other challenges that uh, as a party you have faced? Uh, I think that's one of the challenges that we really would like to say because, you know, in an election that, like this one, uh, people are very anxious and you can see how tight a race it is. Meaning that everybody is now glued on the, on the, on the TVs Instead of getting the real thing from IABC, they are now relying on the uh, televisions, which is okay, but you are asking, how is it that TVs are getting first-hand information before the IABC? And that's okay still also. Otherwise, I believe that um, IABC can do better than they are doing. Yes.